What's going on, people? Mitch here. Uh, we're going to be doing a tier list of all of the MCU movies and TV shows that are on Disney+. Plus. So just a heads up, this will not include any of the X-Men, the other Spider-Man movies that are not part of the official MCU at this point. It also will not include any of the Netflix uh, Disney properties such as Daredevil, Luke Cage, all those. So this will be the MCU movies that have come out from Disney. Uh, and then also, of course, your Disney Plus shows. So I'm going to rank these uh, amazing, great, good, bad, and haven't seen. Um, of course, remember you guys comment down below if you think my list is wrong, but we're going to go ahead and get into this list uh, all on the eve of me seeing Ant-Man Quantumania. Um, as far as it goes, it's already out. People have already seen it, but I'm going to see it tomorrow. So I figured I'd do this list and uh, share what my thoughts are. So it looks like they placed all of these in order of release. Okay. So if we take a look at the movies, if we start with Ant-Man or Iron Man. I don't want to say, here's the problem that sucks. It's hard to say like, oh, the first one, the whole reason these all happen, this should be amazing. Iron Man 1, I'm going to say is a great movie. Uh, hold on, hold on. Before I do anything else. I'm going to say perfect. Okay. Because in my opinion, the thing that annoys me about Iron Man 1 is the villain. Oh, but I, I don't think he's a great villain. So that's why I'm going to put it as great. Okay. So I want to point out Iron Man 1, Robert Downey Jr. Fantastic. Him learning how to make the Iron Man suit. Amazing. The villain, not very great. This is the only reason I'm not going to put it as perfect. Okay. And, and like, I, it's, it's just so hard because like the villain of the movie is just okay he's like he's okay but not like he's not like i mean he's like kind of scary but not not necessarily really um I, i'm gonna say it's great i'm i'm borderline perfect just because of how good robert downey is is like him becoming iron man and him learning how to use his suit um him you know telling roadie to fuck off while he's flying around that's uh it's so close to being perfect i'm gonna i'm gonna Oh man. You know what? The villain, the villain is bad, but not bad enough to, for my opinion, make it perfect. Okay. Incredible Hulk is bad. It's a bad movie. It's a bad movie. It's, it's, it's not good. If you go back and watch this one, it's rough. It's rough. I, it's weird that this is actually part of the MCU because it's like the one movie I feel like no one really watched like it was just it was bad and i'm glad it's there because obviously you know hulk is in a lot of these other properties so i appreciate that but like it's it's bad it's a bad movie uh iron man 2 people shit on this movie i will say it's good i will say it's good it's not a bad movie it's good like i can watch iron man 2 and be like this is fine i can't watch a hulk again I can't watch Hulk again. It is part because of abomination. Yeah, for sure. Again, like Hulk is Hulk is a rough movie to watch. And I'm glad Edward Norton decided not to continue with that movie anymore. Uh, you know, Mark Ruffalo is great as, as you know, Bruce Banner. Appreciate it. Iron Man 2 people shit on way too hard. It's not that terrible. It's it's a decent movie, but it's not anywhere near great. It's watchable for sure but not like people shit on Iron Man 2 a lot. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's good. It's good. Thor 1 is fucking bad. Thor is bad. I'm sorry. It's boring. It's not entertaining in my opinion. It, it's just, I don't know, man. I, it's like forgettable at times. Like I just don't like Thor 1. I did not think Thor was a very good movie. Like Loki, obviously Loki's kind of like your villain, but like, ugh, just weird. You got those big fucking th people that, yeah, exactly. I can't even remember Thor one. Exactly. They, uh, Thor showed up. He got all of his powers stripped. His hammer showed up on earth. He shows up, he gets his hammer. These big ass fucking demon, like big old monsters showed up on earth, blew up this town, fought Loki. You know what I mean? It's just like, ugh, it's a bad movie. It's a bad movie. It's yeah, it's not good. Um, 
Here's what I'll say, and people are probably going to hate me, but like Captain America, the first one, the first one, no, it's great. It's a great movie. It really is. Good acting, good storytelling. The weird CG with him being small is kind of odd, but no, like it, it, it is a good movie. It, no, it's a great. Mm, is it good or great? Red Skull. I didn't like Red Skull a whole lot, to be honest. He was okay. Um, it was it was good. And here's the only reason why I'm gonna say good because the other Captain America movies are are definitely better. I'll say good. People are probably gonna hate me for that. Uh, I'll say good. Um, in my opinion. The first Avengers movie is perfect. I saw it twice in the theaters. I thought the way they pulled everybody together, I think the way that they told the story of, you know, Loki showing up with the army, um, the interaction between all the different Avengers, them fighting each other before getting, you know, to be together. Mark Ruffalo showing up as Hulk. Um, the final fight sequence in New York is fucking awesome. Um, I think everything about that movie is phenomenal. Of course, they know at the end with the big T's. Um, I'm a very big fan of the first Avengers movie. Um, so yeah, I would say that in my opinion is a perfect movie. I don't think there's a really and necessarily a bad part of the Avengers movie. Um, I don't think anything about the first Avengers movie is necessarily bad. Like everything about it was good. Coulson being the one needed to, to get them all together uh, once they figure out Coulson died. Which by the way, if you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., eh, kind of. Yeah, that's the thing that sucks. It's like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't in here. You know what I mean? So that's the only part that kind of sucks. But yeah, uh, Iron Man 3 is good. Iron Man 3 is good. Again, I think people shit on Iron Man 3 so much because of the twist ending or not twist ending, but I should say the twist with the enemy, you know, like Mandalorian or the Mandalorian. I just said Mandalorian. I'm stupid. Oh, my God. Why am I blanking on his name? I'm so stupid right now. What is Iron Man 3 villain's name? Iron Man. I'm blanking. Iron Man 3 villain. Yeah. But what was his name? Ah, I know Killian was the villain, but what did he call himself? Why am I blanking on the name? No, it's Iron Man 1. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Am I crazy right now? Mandarin. God damn it. That's what it is. I'm stupid. That people I think shit on that, but the fact of like all of his different Iron Man suits showing up, uh, the fact of like post-traumatic stress, Tony. Um, people shit on the movie, I think, way too hard. Um, but I thought there were some cool sequences. Um, the the whole sequence of him on the plane. Like him remote into it. It was cool too, because when he got hit by the car and how the whole fucking thing exploded and you realize he wasn't in there to begin with. Um, I didn't think it was terrible. Uh, but people give it a lot of shit. A lot of shit. So yeah. Um yeah, I would say it's it's a good movie. I won't say it's great. It's good. Uh Thor 2 is bad. Thor 2 is bad. It's a dumb villain that dark elves, they're just it's just terrible. It's just such a bad movie. Again, like, I don't, I'm surprised. Like, I mean, I think Chris Hemsworth really just kind of like sold that movie because people were like interested in seeing him, not Thor as a character. But like, dude, Thor Dark World's bad. It is, it is a bad movie. Um, in my opinion, I mean, there's not much else to say about Thor 2. Thor 2 is fucking trash. In my opinion, Captain America and the Winter Soldier is a fucking perfect movie. It is so good. The Winter Soldier is fucking terrifying as a villain. The storytelling's great. If you didn't put Captain America, if this was just a like war story, right? Like a spy movie with the whole like shield and Hydra and like all that shit. If this was just a spy movie and did not have anything to do with Marvel, this movie is fucking awesome. It's so fucking good. And Winter Soldier is such a terrifying villain. And it's so, like, everything about it is so good. Of course, like, the crazy part, too, is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., when they did this whole twist of, like, 
shield being hydra and like half like dude so many good parts of that movie like captain america winter soldier is fucking perfect i love that movie if that movie's on i will absolutely stop and watch that movie all day long movie is great love that movie this pains me to say guardians of the galaxy is a great movie it's almost perfect but Ronan as a villain is fucking stupid. Ronan is not a good villain. He's not. He's not at all. Characters. All the Guardians are awesome characters. Love how they introduce each of the characters. Love how they got together and interacted. The action sequences, the whole prison scene, um, them fighting on the ship, finding on uh, Nova. Movie, the music of it is fine. All of it's fucking awesome. Ronan's trash. Ronan's so fucking bad. Oh, I got a hammer. Get me the stone. Don't talk to me like that, Thanos. Oh, shut up. You're fucking stupid. It's so, uh, Ronan is just not a good character. I'm sorry. It's the one thing, in my opinion, from Guardians 1 that makes that movie not a fucking perfect movie. Will I still watch Guardians if it's on? 100%. Like everything else about the movie is fucking cool. Howard the Duck's in the movie. <laughs> like all the like cool shit though. Like when you get to the collector and you see like a, an elf and you see like Cosmo and you see like all the cool things from Guardians, like in the collector, like when you start seeing all these little things showing up, um, I just think it's a great movie. Like it's so good. It's so, it's great. I see good. It's great. It's a great movie. Um, I, I definitely... Definitely, definitely would watch it over and over and over. But Ronan's just so, yeah, he's so fucking bad. Ronan's so bad. It's so bad. Avengers Age of Ultron is a bad movie. It's just, it's just weird. I get it. You start introducing some new characters. You have Vision. You have Wanda. You have Quicksilver who fucking dies. Right. And again, we can all agree that the other Quicksilver and the other Marvel movie and the other X-Men movie was better. Right. Evan Peters as the other Quicksilver is a way better Quicksilver, but just no, like it was just, it just wasn't, I, I just, I don't know. I did not think it was that great of a movie at all. Ultron was dumb. Vision's cool. Seeing the Avengers get back together. That's kind of cool. I just didn't like, I just, it just felt like it didn't click. The first Avengers felt like, all of it was happening, right? Like, again, Guardians, all the characters meet up. They tell a story that's really well, really well a story. But like, dude, Avengers, like, I was just like, just give me more Avengers 1. And like, you could say that, but it was just weird. It just didn't, I didn't feel like it clicked. Wanda, you, show how pro you saw how powerful she was when she just ripped Ultron's heart out of his chest and shit. I mean, Ultron getting big and buff and shit was also kind of weird. I don't know. It just, I didn't like it that much. Um, Ant-Man is a good movie. It's not great, but it's a good movie. Michael Pena makes that movie a hundred fucking times better. I love Michael Pena in those movies in the first, and apparently he's not in the new one, which really kind of sucks, but Michael Pena in fucking Ant-Man's fantastic. Like he's great. Good, good origin story, right? Scott Lang getting out of prison, breaks in, steals a suit. Hank Pym, like, Hey. I knew you were going to do this. Here you go. I liked Ant-Man. I thought it was a cool movie. Villain. Uh, Yellow Jacket is a villain. Oh, okay. Again, I didn't feel like Yellow Jacket was like that much of a threat to Ant-Man, you know, but that's why I'll say it's a good movie. It's not a great movie. It's, it's a good movie. Um, in my opinion, Civil War, fucking perfect. I'm telling you when fucking the Ru Russo brothers started with this shit, Civil War is great. It's, it's, it's so fucking good. You get Spider-Man. You have all these people fighting. You tell a great story. The villain in this movie might, and it's crazy to think about this, right? In my opinion, the villain in Civil War might be one of the best villains in any of the MCU movies. Why? Because he fucking manipulated and broke up the Avengers. That's crazy. That's crazy. You didn't kill anybody. You literally ruined the Avengers. That's nuts. And like, again, he didn't have any powers. He was just a dude 
who knew how to fucking get with, you know, get in your head and fuck with people. It was awesome. The fact that there was other um, Winter Soldiers that were out there, Black Panther showing up, Ant-Man showing up, Spider-Man showing up. Like, you could have easily fumbled this fucking movie, but you didn't. Like, Civil War is phenomenal. Fucking Iron Man and, and Cap America at the end fighting each other. Like, Cap, when, when Iron Man finds out Winter Soldier killed his parents, and then they have that moment where, like, Cap stops Iron Man from going and fucking ripping his head off. I'm like, bro, this movie's so good. And that, that literally, that villain is one of, in my opinion, the best in the whole MCU because he fucked up the Avengers. He ruined, he made all those people fight each other. He made Black Panther try to kill Winter Soldier. He made Wanda try to fight everybody else because they were messing with Vision, right? It's just crazy. Or no, like... It's so nuts how good the villain was in that movie and he didn't even have any superpowers. He wasn't a big, bad, scary, I can end the world type of deal. He was just like, I'm going to fucking ruin everybody's relationship and I'm going to break up the Avengers. That's a fucking great movie. And again, the fact that like, I was going to say without the Marvel thing, would it be as great of a movie? Maybe not because we have a, such a love of like all these characters on each side. But like, again, Black Panther showing up, awesome. Ant-Man going big, like you said, at the airport. That airport, whole airport fight scene is fucking awesome. Civil War is perfect. It's so wild to me how this movie, the first Cap America, was like, eh, in my opinion. It's good. It's not great. Villain sucks. These two are just ridiculously good. Doctor Strange is a good movie. I, I won't say it's bad. I, it's cool that you learned how to use his powers. Um, I just think the villain, again, the villain is kind of what throws things off. Like if, if the, if the, if the villain in the, in the show or in the movie doesn't really pose that much of a threat, in my opinion, it's just like, okay, cool. I guess we're just watching you learn how to use your powers. And like, I think that's cool. I do like the fight sequence that they had where he was in the hospital and he was like dead and he like got out of his body and fought that dude. That was cool. But other than that, like. It's, it's not a bad, I can tell you Dr. Strange is not a bad movie. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch is awesome as an actor. Uh, he does a great job. Um, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's great though. Like if it's on, will I stop and watch it? Maybe, maybe. Um, but no, I won't shit on it. I know some people really love Dr. Strange. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's, it's good. Guardians 2 is a great movie. Again, here's what I was talking about. You go from Avengers 1 to Avengers 2. And I feel like they didn't like take this awesomeness and just transfer it over to the next movie, right? Guardians 2, I felt, did that amazingly. Guardians 2 built these characters, built this team. It was phenomenal. They just kept doing awesome shit in the second one. The whole intro scene where they're fighting that thing, Rocket ripping off the fucking, all the gold people, Right? Guardians 2 was great. Guardians 2's villain, way better than one. Way better than one. Way better. Ego? Ego is crazy. Ego could ruin planets. And you know, it's not like Thanos level, but like Ego is great as a villain. I thought it was awesome. You introduce Manus. You introduce, you know, obviously, um, uh, God, I'm blanking on names again. Um, Michael Rooker, who did he play in the movie? Yondu. Yondu being more of a part of the story, finding out, you know, why he didn't take him to ego, finding out, you know, now he's like, okay, cool. I'm going to actually help the guardians. Yondu dying guardian and guardians too. It's just sad, but like guardians Two, the thing that I disliked about that, I wouldn't say guardians Two is a perfect movie is I feel like there's some parts in there that are like, it feels long. Right. But like, there's nothing, I won't say it's perfect, but guardians two and one are like, part like neck and neck with each other i don't think i can actually choose one is better than the other because i like the way that everybody got together in the first one i like the villain way better in the second one but like they kept this same energy and comedy and great teamwork and everything into the second one and that's why i just thought it was awesome two is horrible you're so crazy tapeworm you're so crazy spider-man homecoming is a perfect movie Spider-Man Homecoming is the Spider-Man movie that all of us fucking wanted. You did not tell us about Uncle Ben. Thank you. You didn't tell us about Uncle Ben. 
You just had a great story. He was a, he was a believable teenager, unlike Tobey Maguire, who looked fucking 30 in high school, right? Tom Holland's fantastic. Michael Keaton as Vulture is fantastic. The twist where he goes to pick up his, his date for the prom and you find out that that's her dad. Fucking great twist. Vulture, I felt like, was a very big threat to Peter Parker. I felt like Vulture could fuck Peter Parker up if he wanted to. He, he collapsed a building on him. But I'm disappointed they made the shocker and did nothing with him. That's fair. That's fair. Some of the things like Scorpion, Shocker, they haven't really done much with, right? Uh, they still obviously could. They didn't show the guy dying. They could be in jail and get out. I don't know. But Iron Man being there, not as a main character, but as a support character. Great. Teaching Peter Parker. Great. The whole boat scene where the boat's in half and shit. Awesome. Him getting his suit, him getting his suit taken away and getting the suit back. Fucking great. It's so good. It's such a good movie. It's crazy. Like, I, I'm such a fan of that Spider-Man movie. Um, I really do think overall it's a perfect movie. Like, that is absolutely a movie. If it's on, I will stop and watch it. Like, again, a Vulture is also still not dead. You know what I mean? Vulture could show up. He was in Morpheus, which we're not going to talk about. Um, but no, like, that movie is fucking perfect, in my opinion. It is absolutely great. Like, just so, so many good things about it. So very few things that aren't good. So yeah, Thor Ragnarok is a great movie. Finally, here's what sucks. You had to make Thor funny to make the movie good, okay? Because I think they realized with one and two, like this character's just like, boo, uh, uh. Him being funny, it took three movies to get a good Thor movie. It absolutely did. Thor, Th Thor Ragnarok is so fucking good. The great story, him showing up, obviously, Hela, Helena, 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 him having to team up with Loki, the whole Asgard thing, like him getting kicked out, like it's so good. It's, it's so, there's so many good things about it. Final fight scene is good. The fight scene with, Th uh, with Hulk in the arena is great. Um, just, so much of that movie is great. I do like how they found Bruce Banner. They found the Quinjet. And you know what I mean? Like there's, there's so many cool things that they tie back into. That's just so good. Like so many things are great about that movie. And again, very few things are bad, right? Valkyrie, when he gets not, hold on, am I blanking on the name? I'm trying to remember the name. Um, the female, is her name Valkyrie? Is that? She was a Valkyrie. What was her name? Jeff Goldblum, of course, amazing. Yeah, Valkyrie. I got it right. Okay. Korg, fantastic. So many good things about Thor Ragnarok. Uh, and again, like, it was a scary thought. Like, it was a scary, like, Ragnarok is going to fucking ruin all of Asgard. And I love the way that they, they were like, no, let's make it happen. Kill Helena with the Ragnarok. That shit was awesome. Black Panther is a great movie. I think it's a great movie. The reason why I put it in great instead of good is because Killmonger is a fucking awesome villain. Killmonger is a normal dude who's just a badass who fucking beats, who ruins Black Panther, breaks him down, a bit, like just everything about like I think the threat of Killmonger in Black Panther made the game made the movie great. One of the better villains. Again, I prefer villains that aren't just like I'm super powerful and strong. Like certain, obviously Thanos is different, but like you don't need special powers or abilities to be a great villain. Like he was so good as a villain. Of course, he and the whole story of Black Panther. Um, you know, seeing him like the fight scene in the casino was awesome. Um. The only thing that's weird to me is, in my opinion, is the end fight scene is the only thing that makes me, I think, stop it from being perfect. The end fight scene where there's the train going between them and they're like monologuing back and forth. It's annoying. I don't like that. I don't like it. They did the shit in Star Wars, you know, like the, mo the, the things in between them. Like, I don't know. That's just something that irritates me when they were monologuing in between the train, like flying through the end fight scene with like all of Wrestle Wakanda fighting. Um, it wasn't bad, but like, no. 
Killmonger made that movie a great movie. So yes, I definitely enjoyed Black Panther. I thought it was a great movie. Now here's where you start getting into the nitty gritty. Infinity War is perfect. It really is. You show all of you guys showing up, everybody. Now, the only thing that's crazy is like you start to get to the point where there's so many people in the movie. You have like this story. And then like 35 minutes later, you go back to this story. And then 35 minutes later, you go back to this story. So that's the only thing that's kind of weird about uh, Infinity War, right? But Thor getting his new hammer, the new, like his new axe and shit, fucking awesome scene. Obviously, the whole fight at Wakanda when Thanos shows up, amazing. Um, even the, even the first thing when, when you first show up and, you know, Thanos showed up on the ship that had all the people from Asgard in it. Great scene. Loki trying to be good and then getting kind of fucking killed. Sucked, but that was a good part. Um, overall, like Infinity War and like the ending was just a fuck you. Like we're killing everybody and hope you guys wait a year and figure it out. Great ending. I remember watching that in the theaters and somebody screamed no when the fucking credits rolled. They were like, that's the end of the movie. That's what you guys are doing to us. You're going to kill half of everybody. All these people fucking go away and then you're going to stop the movie. That was a great, great, great ending. So yes, I think Infinity War is perfect. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Movie left us at a low point, which is great. Yes, that is, that is the best part about that. Literally, everybody left for like, what the fuck? That was the ending? Yes, it was a great way to end it. <sighs> Amy and the Wasp is a bad movie. It's not great. It's not great. I think it's cool that they start going to the quantum realm and stuff like that, right? And obviously, that's how you get to Endgame and like how they figure out a way to go back and get everybody back. I get it. It's just not good. The fucking villain sucks. I can't tell you one fucking thing that happened in Ant-Man and the Wasp other than him on the pier in San Francisco when he was big. It's a bad movie. It, it's so bad. I don't think I can remember that movie. It's not good. And it sucks because like Wasp is, you know, again, that's the other thing that kind of sucks too. I'm not going to say Wasp is bad, but like, uh, like, the villain in that movie is terrible. Terrible. Ghost, just, just, what fucking threat is she? You could punch her and you can't hit her. She's fucking, no, it's just a bad movie. It sucks you don't want to say that too, because I'm about to see the new one. So hopefully the new one doesn't suck, but that's a bad movie, bro. I watched it the other day. Like it was just on and I was like, oh, I guess we're going to see the new Ant-Man and watch it. It's fucking bad. Again, Michael Pena makes the movie cool, right? Everything else is bad. It's just not a good movie. Captain Marvel is a bad movie. And I'm not just saying that because it's Captain Marvel. I'm saying that because it's just long, boring, and the villain is just, uh. I do appreciate you introducing some new characters. I do appreciate you going back in time. The new one looks good, though. Are you talking about the new Ant-Man movie? Yes, the new Ant-Man movie looks great. Uh, Captain Marvel's bad. It's just, no. The villain is, like, just... I, I, again, I appreciate you showing me how she got her powers. I appreciate the, the throwback to the 90s, all the cool 90s shit. It's just not a good movie. The villain's bad. It's boring. Like, I can't tell you a lot of what happened in Captain Marvel, to be honest. Like, it's just not a good movie. I'm sorry. It's bad. It's, it's a bad movie. Endgame is fucking perfect culminates everything of we just saw up until this point culminates everything to be fucking perfect fantastic ending unfortunately iron man dies great storytelling of how they went back in time how you saw him interact with uh iron man interact with his dad how they went back to the avengers how or the first avengers in new york how they were able to get the stone in the middle of all the fighting it's cool though that you think about that shit too like in endgame when they went back into new york when the uh all the people showed up the first time and you see how Doctor Strange's fucking palace is cool. And she, you know, she knows how, who Doctor Strange is and how he's not here yet. Um, the whole sacrifice of, you know, Black Widow to get the Soul Stone. Like, it's all fucking good. It's so good. All of Endgame is great. Fantastic ending. 
and the cap, you know, the cap part is the only thing I was like, not saying I was upset about, but cap got to go back. He got to have captain Carter. Well, it's not captain Carter, just Carter, agent Carter. Sorry. She wasn't captain in that movie, but no, um, end game is fucking perfect. Like, here's the thing too. I want to point out Russo brothers, Russo brothers, Russo brothers, Russo brothers. They don't fucking miss bro. They're so good. So yeah, just, just such a good series. Everything coming that that last fight scene is fucking wild. The fact, the one shot where they just pan and everybody's there. That's nuts. Oh, Cap, when Cap got Milner, dude, the whole fucking audience went like they just fucking couldn't stop freaking out. They're like, holy shit. The whole movie was fucking awesome. Like everything about Endgame is so good. So yeah. Uh, Far From Home in my opinion, is a good movie. It's a good movie. <coughs> I would say out of the three Tom Holland Spider-Man movies, it's the one that's my least favorite. For sure. It's, it's not necessarily bad, but it's not like, I, I can't really, yeah, I mean, he goes on vacation. He runs it. Mysterio, by the way, I do like how they twisted Mysterio. Ex-Stark employee, trying to get revenge on Stark. Try, I, I thought that was cool. Like the way that they held that, it was cool. Tom Holland, like trying to figure out his spider sense. That was cool. But it was just like, it was okay. It, it was good. Not a bad movie in any way, but it was good. Um, overall though, out of the three Spider-Man Tom Holland movies, definitely the lowest of them, in my opinion. Homecoming's villain was fucking just the twist villain. And like, I felt like he was in way more danger here. Whereas here, he had a little bit more help with the spider suit, right? Like he had his, his upgraded tech and shit. He had uh Friday who, you know what I mean? I think this was a good movie, but just not as good as the other ones, in my opinion. Uh, and now we're starting to get into the TV shows. WandaVision is... I'll say good. WandaVision for me, what what's here's the cool part. It's not bad at all, I can tell you that. But would I rewatch WandaVision? Probably not. WandaVision, as far as a show goes, the first three episodes throw you the fuck off. You're just like, what am I watching exactly? And then when the twist happens and you find out why you're why you've seen those three episodes the way you've seen them, it's pretty awesome. Um Wanda just dealing with shit, vision. Um like just it's it's good. I won't say it's bad though. It's not bad. It's not great though. I think it's good. I think it's good. Um Falcon and Winter Soldier, also good. Of course, the dynamic between those two in Civil War when they were arguing with each other. Um, but no, it's good. It's good. I do like how they introduced basically the new bat like the new anti-heroes, like evil, if you want to say bad cap was fucking crazy. He was kind of crazy. Um, the villains overall, though, were just, they were all right. They weren't like necessarily big threats. Um, but I do like the storytelling that they did with Bucky and uh, with Falcon. They did a really good job with that. So like that, I'll say it's good. Again, I, I'm not upset that I watched these, but would I go back and rewatch them from the start? No, no. I'm happy I watched them though. Not upset at all. Loki was great was great because tom middleson is fucking great i just loved the the way they explained the the time variance the way that also too when they got him from avengers right when like that scene in avengers happened where he like disappeared and how they continued off of that i thought it was awesome um all the different variants of loki you also run into kang for the first time who is not known as kang at that point but also i just think that was like it started getting kind of weirder with that um, so yeah, Loki was great. Um, definitely not upset. I watched that, that, that I thought was great. Black Widow is bad. I'm sorry. Black Widow is bad. Dumb villain. Story is super forgettable. And I, I, I'm not upset that they made a Black Widow movie, right? And it took place before, obviously it took place before she died in Endgame. Uh, it took place between, I think, Civil War and Infinity War. 
Um, right, Tapeworm. Loki gave us Kang, which is amazing, and the other Lokis, yes. Um, Black Widow, though, just... Ugh. Villain was okay at best. She was, like, super strong. Ta what was it? Taskmaster? Taskmaster, I think, was. Uh, yeah. Black Widow was weird. The side characters, like her sister and stuff. Which, again, like, I like, like, for example, how Black Widow ties into, like, other MCU properties, right? Um, but, like, it just wasn't good. It was super forgettable. I watched it once. Don't ever plan to watch it again. So yeah yeah i just thought that was really strange um what if was good what if was good it wasn't bad definitely wasn't great though i think it was cool seeing the different you know captain carter seeing Tukala as star lord i thought that was really cool how they showed you some different things and of course the zombie one was really strange too <clears throat> my favorite part though is the fact that all of it intertwined with each other how like all of a sudden they started kind of talking about the different dimensions and like the different things. Then you start getting into some of these other things we're going to get into later down here. And um, yeah, I just thought it was good. And of course I'm not upset with animated Marvel and they got some of the voice. That was um, Chadwick Boseman's last performance uh, before he passed away. Uh, it was, it was, it was good. A lot of cool things. Shang-Chi is fucking great. As a comic fan, then what if is way better. If you're not into comics, what if can come off weird. It can. But I still like What If, though. I still thought it was cool. I didn't read the comics. I just thought it was cool, like different perspectives of things that could happen. But also, too, it starts talking about all the different, you know, universes and all the different things that can be out there. So, yeah. Shang-Chi is fucking awesome. I had no clue how good that movie would be. It's fucking awesome. It's so good. It's such a good story. It's such a good, like, the villain on it was good. The action of it was good. Just Shang-Chi is way better than I think people thought it was going to be. People thought it was going to be, you know, oh, here we go. Another random odd character. Let's introduce. Dude, so good. The Ten Rings. Then you start getting into some other shit, right? Start thinking, oh, man, like these Ten Rings could be. Dude, Shang-Chi is awesome. If you guys have not seen Shang-Chi, that's the one that like, unfortunately, that was COVID time. So like it was in theaters, but then it got put on Disney Plus. Shang-Chi is great. It's so good. Such a good origin story. Such a good telling of his character. Uh, so yeah, go watch that shit. That is great. We are going to run into the first one that I haven't seen, which is Eternals. Haven't seen it. Heard terrible things. Don't have an opinion on it, though. Haven't seen it. It was one of those that got put on Disney+, Plus, and I was like, I'll watch that one day, and just never watched it. So, yeah. I... I I don't know. I heard terrible things, but I won't judge it. So let's just go off that. So only I real talk. It's one of the only ones. I'll just do this too. Werewolf at night. I haven't seen yet either or werewolf by night. I haven't seen it yet. So I'm not going to say yes or no or good or bad. I haven't seen it yet. Hawkeye was good. Hawkeye was good. Villain on it was definitely, I mean, the villain on it was Wanda Romanoff's sister. Um, I do like how they brought up the new, you know, the, her trying to learn how to do what you know Hawkeye does. Um, not very memorable, to be honest, but it wasn't bad, I don't think. I don't think it was bad. Um, again, I like how they interconnected everything else. Um, the overall story, like these anti-hero group of villains, which are getting their own movie, which I'm blanking on the name on right now. But like Hawkeye wasn't bad. Um, I thought Hawkeye was good. That was a good movie, or good show, I should say. Uh, that's right. King Ping did show up there. So that's what started tying in everything else with all the Netflix stuff, which unfortunately is not on this list, <clears throat> but like Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, uh, Punisher, all that shit. Yeah, for sure. Okay. No Way Home is a fucking perfect movie. It's perfect. Everybody... Hinted, thought, are the other ones coming back? It was perfect. It's such a good fucking movie. The overall villain of like everybody, like the story of it, him saying, I wish everybody forgot who Peter Parker was. Fucking broke everything. Just such a good movie. Such a good ending too, where he actually did say, do it. Everybody's got to forget who I am. And then MJ forgot who he was. 
Like, it was so good. The other Spider-Men showing up are fucking... I remember the best part is, like, Andrew Garfield, he played it so well. He was like, I don't know... Guys, you guys stop asking me about this movie. I'm not in it. If, I, if they asked me, I would have been in it, but I didn't get asked. I'm sorry. He played it so fucking well. And then when he showed up on screen, the whole fucking theater lost their shit. Just lost their shit. It's so good. It's such a good thing. All the villains coming back from all the, not all, but like villains coming back from each universe of the Spider-Man, right? You had Doc Ock, you had uh, Sandman. Like all these villains showing up was so good. And of course, Goblin. Screaming in the theater uh, when that happened, which was amazing. Yeah, dude. And the goblin, dude, and, and, and of course, uh, Aunt May dying sucks. Poor little alert sucks. That sucks. But like goblin was fucking crazy again, which was awesome. Everything about No Way Home is so fucking good. Not one part of that movie is bad, in my opinion. Just so good. So good. Uh, Moon Knight was good it was good wasn't bad didn't really like make me freak out at any part of it glad i watched it but it was good it was good moon knight if you don't know the comics can be odd i think that's what it was i think this is the one i was like i do like the storytelling of it the characters you know like him having the two personalities i like that but i didn't think it was like holy shit great you know what i mean i thought it was good I'm not, I'm not upset I watched it. I can tell you that. I can tell you right now, fucking Iron Fist, the Netflix series, I started three episodes of that shit. I shut it off. It's bad. It's just bad. I can't rate that in here, but it's bad. Doctor Strange was good. It was good. I do like the fact that they went through the different multiverses, right? They went to the multiverse where Captain Carter was there. Captain, the, the other Marvel, Miss Mar or Captain Marvel was there, right? Her friend, Professor X was there. Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic was there. Like, I liked it. I thought it was good. What? Here's a problem too, though. Um, but it's a Wanda movie, not a Doctor Strange movie, in my opinion. I think the problem with it is if you didn't watch WandaVision and you went and watched this, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Why is Wanda going through all this? When you watch WandaVision, then you kind of have a better understanding, right? But like, if you don't watch any of the Disney Plus shit, because at the time, the Disney Plus stuff, that was the first one. So people might have missed it or whatever, right? You're right. It was all, it was, it was focusing not just on Doctor Strange, but also on Wanda. Um, I don't think it was a bad movie though. Some people say it's like bad. I don't think it's bad, but I just don't think it's like great. I'm glad I watched it. But yeah. Uh, Miss Marvel is good. It's good. It's, it's cool to have her like have an idol in Captain Marvel and then like learn. She actually has some kind of cool powers, but also I'm thinking like this ties into Shang-Chi and, Captain, obviously Captain Marvel. The cool thing at the end of Miss Marvel, if you didn't see, is that Captain Marvel actually shows up. There's like this time warp or something. Some like something happens, and all of a sudden Captain Marvel is there instead of Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel though was not bad. I thought it was a cool uh, concept. I thought it was a cool storytelling. Uh, just a kid kind of. It was very similar to Homecoming, right? Kid wanting to be a kid, but also like, holy shit, I'm a superhero. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like. I thought Miss Marvel was uh, good. Um. This is the one that's kind of like hard for me. This might be the harder one for me, actually. I was happy when I knew a, th a new Thor movie was coming out, right? Here's what's weird. I think these two are bad, right? Because Thor is a dumb character, right? He's just, oh, Thor. I think this is cool because it started bringing in the funny, right? I think this is cool because it started getting like to that point where like he's not just dumb. This went too far, in my opinion. This went way too far on the funny and not as much on like the seriousness of the movie. You know what sucks too is that Christian Bale is a fantastic actor, but like again, as a villain, okay. 
Jane Foster getting Thor powers. I thought that was cool, but that might be the only cool part about the whole thing. Um, you just went too far in the funny. There wasn't, I didn't feel like there was like threats of like him being that scared. I mean, he had Jane to help him, which is cool, but like, and Valk's there and that's cool. Um, but like, it just, I don't know, man. I'm not going to say it. it's, it's just weird. Like, again, I'm glad that Thor went in the direction that Ragnarok did. Cause I thought Ragnarok was like the perfect level of like, not just funny, 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 but like funny, also terrible, like hard shit. Like Helena is going to fucking kill you mixed with, you know, I, it's just weird. Like Thor, Thor Ragnarok was good. And I wanted to like love and thunder so much, but it's just not good. It's just not good. Um, Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm in a new category for I Am Groot. It's a fucking mini series. Each episode's like six minutes. There's nothing. There's nothing. Not nothing in that series that has any ramifications of anything in the MCU period. I, I'm not even saying this is not, it's not bad or good. It's just like little things that Groot did and that's cool. Yay. Like Disney plus has a couple of those, right? Those little short things. Just weird. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. It's just, I'm not saying it was bad, but we watched all of it and I was just like, Cool. She Hulk. It was good. I don't think it was bad. A lot of people shit on it. I don't know why. Um, I liked I liked her trying to be, you know, not just She Hulk, but trying to be herself. Uh Daredevil's in it, which is fucking great. Great, great scenes. Um, the end episode is actually super fourth wall breaking super fourth wall breaking like more fourth wall breaking than fucking Deadpool shit like super fourth wall breaking and I know she does it throughout the show already right but I didn't think it was bad but I didn't think it was great I thought it was good not upset I watched it still think there's gonna be some cool stuff with her down the road of course Daredevil like being introduced and showing him I was like yes by the way, I want to thank She-Hulk because She-Hulk is actually the reason I started watching Daredevil because I knew Daredevil was going to be coming to the MCU. And I wanted to watch the shows because everybody told me that those Daredevil shows are good from Netflix and they're fucking great. They're not on Netflix anymore. They're on Disney Plus. But go watch Daredevil because Daredevil as a series is so fucking good. So yeah, I thank She-Hulk for that. Uh, but it's not great or good, you know. Well, kind of forever. It's good. It's a good movie. Definitely not as good as the first one. Um, but good villain, scary villain, good villain. Uh, Charlie Cox Daredevil is the best series. Uh, e yeah, I agree. TV show, yes, hundred percent. Um, what kind of forever is good? Um, uh, the way that they handled Chadwick Boseman dying, the way that they handled the ending was fucking powerful. The ending was super like holy shit, that's wild. Um, the villain in it was really good. Um, I think. I, let me let's put it this way i think they made the best movie they possibly could with the fact that chadwood chadwick boseman died they could have really fucked shit up right but like how they played it and how they did it is a it's it's good it's a good movie i will not shit on it at all i don't think it's a bad movie at all but it's just it, you know it's good it's good definitely watch it because like the villain is is definitely a scary ass villain like he can fuck shit up but like just the way that they handled his death like throughout the movie was was I like I said I think they did the best with what they had. So, yeah. <clears throat> but had just enough sadness? Yes. There's definitely sadness, but like the ending is awesome. You know what I mean? And then of course Ant-Man Quantumania which just came out. I haven't seen yet, which is the whole reason why we're doing this video. So there are there's my list of great Perfect, great, good, bad, why, and haven't seen. The two I haven't seen, um, Eternals, I just, I heard w weird things about it. Werewolf by Night is such a weird left turn of like, what is this exactly? So, 
I don't know about that. I'll watch it eventually. It's fucking free on Disney Plus, whatever. Uh, but Ant-Man Quantumania, I hope I can not say it's bad. Um, although, um, although, here's what kind of sucks. It's the only other movie besides Eternals that has a rotten score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's not good. Even the fucking Thor movies don't have rotten scores. Think about that. Thor 1 and 2 don't have a rotten score, but Ant-Man does. And I really hope that's just people like being way more critical of like Ant- like MCU movies now ever since like some bangers have come out, but yeah, that's the only thing that worries me. But uh, I will be checking it out tomorrow, and maybe I'll uh, just put in the comments down below what I thought of Ant-Man Quantumania. Maybe I'll just put a little comment in there. Of course, comment down below if you guys have any other uh, conjectures to what I have here. Tell me if you think Guardians was uh, perfect or, you know, Civil War was great. Let me know down below in the comments. Of course, make sure you like the video because everybody likes MCU movies. They're fucking awesome. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you guys can catch every single tier list that I make like this. Maybe I'll do one of the Netflix shows. Uh, I do want to do one on DC movies. And by the way, when DC, I'm talking about like OG Batman all the way till now. Got to do that. So want to do that as well. So if you guys want to catch tier lists as well as maybe some funny gameplay clips or some great gameplay uh, matches of some of the games I play in Call of Duty Apex, make sure you guys sub down below. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time.